Welcome back, Brick Maniacs, to another episode of the Kit Archives. This uh, is kind of one of our newer videos. Basically, what we do is we kind of pull one of the uh, older kits from our, uh, the Brick Mania arsenal, and then we go through some of the variants or some of the other kits that would pair well with that. So last week was the M113. This week is the M4 Sherman and all of its many, many variants that oh, yeah. Brick Mania has released over the years. Um, so this is the original base model. What? What? Oh, what? oh okay. This one <laughs> I was right like, here. that's a, not the original base. That, that <laughs> the, original is the original one came base. with a bulldozer. No, yeah, right. So this is the original M4 Sherman. Um, you know, absolutely iconic uh, American tank of World War II. Um, it's been featured in a lot of movies, a lot of different uh, forms of media since then. Um, you know, it was a medium tank. It, the the strategy behind it was basically thinking that if we can't beat the uh, s strength of the German armor, we can beat them with having more in the field. And so mm -hmm. it was a mass-produced tank uh, that they tried to basically crank out as many of them as they could uh, when when it was needed, um, and it performed okay. Um, you know, there's kind of been mixed reports on on what the how effective the Sherman really was, sure. especially in the European campaign. But it was it was definitely heavily used, um, and is just kind of one of those vehicles that really has that that iconic look of World War II. You know, you think of U.S. forces in World War right. II, you think of a Sherman tank. Yeah. Um, and so, and then obviously, as you can see here, it uh, was turned into a lot of different variants. So, like I said, this is the original base model, and then from there, we kind of build on it. So the first one we have here is the M1 Bulldozer. Uh, these were used heavily on the beaches of uh, D-Day to help clear debris after uh, the invasion of France uh, by the Allies. Uh, this is a really cool add-on, so it's not, it doesn't really change the build of the tank that much. But what's cool about it is it's really kind of just, it's, it's just extra. It's not something where you really have to go in and modify the body whatsoever. It's just kind of got a cool, uh, you know, front to it. And, um, it's one of those pieces that, you know, depending on the specific mock you're making, mm -hmm. it can be a really useful or historically accurate version totally. of the of the Sherman. You know, if you're doing a D-Day mock or something like that, or, or an after D-Day mock, um, you know, this would have been really relevant. And right. uh, it's kind of cool to have something that specific uh, available for your for your Sherman. And uh, and it looks really cool too. I mean, it's just you know, it's well paneled and stuff, and mm -hmm. it's got kind of that cool you know build to it. And then you said it was a hinge. <laughs> You said it was a hinge yeah. connection that kind of made that. Yeah, you kind of got to hold both sides a little bit, and there's a click hinge on there, so you can depress it down. Just drops down, and then that, you can. Uh, you know, the dozing. Yeah, scoot along and, and clear up the beaches. And then it goes back up. Beep, little click there. Nice. Yeah, so very, very cool. Um, moving on from there, let's go to the IC Firefly. Yeah. Um, so this one comes with a little British tanker, and that was because it was used uh, heavily by uh, the British forces. Yep. Um, it is a uh, kind of more so was was to beef up the Sherman to make it more of an anti-tank weapon, um, and uh, was basically what it is is it's a 17-pound gun on the M4 chassis, and uh, you know it. it when it's one of those add-on packs that is is more from the M1 Sherman. It's kind of a, it is more of a redesign because you kind of change that turret and add some mm -hmm. stuff on the back, and then obviously you're rebuilding that barrel a little bit. But it's got a really cool look to it, and then I like that it's an add-on that comes with the yeah. minifigure. Yeah, the figure. Obviously, it's British forces, um, and so we wanted to make it like if you're if uh, if you're having the standard M4 Sherman, you know, you get the American forces typically. Um, but this one, we thought we'd take it up a little notch and have the British guy with there. So he's wearing that leather vest. Uh, and he's got some British goggles as well with that yellow tinting going on there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's cool, cool little add-on, and it's kind of neat to be able to have something that is of an American variant that then was used by other Allied mm -hmm. forces too, and so you can you can change that, and that's kind of one of the reasons why we've always tried to keep the you know the M4 in stock as much right. as we have, is because you know you want the original M4 because it's iconic as well, but then you know to build these other variants, you obviously need the base kit itself, and you know a lot of these were, were used heavily, and so that's just a cool you know a cool addition onto that, and plus it just I mean. Anytime you throw a longer barrel on a right. tank, it just looks kind of cool. <laughs> they would have that camouflaged a little bit, just uh, just so it wouldn't stand out from the rest of them. So it's a different color on the front of that barrel. Sure. You see a, a few different paint jobs. Sometimes they have a little bit of swirling going on, which yeah. we've represented on some other um, guns that we've done before. But um, this is just a nice brick-built variant of that. Yeah, very very cool. So once again, kind of that, that turret redesign build too, and then you and you also, if you look at the fronts of them a little bit. There is somewhat of a rebuild going on yeah. there too, so this one does turn out to be like a little bigger tank itself. Right. But that's because they had to beef up the chassis to fit the bigger gun on there. I think there's also yeah, there's some printed tiles on top there as well. There's a printed tile on top with kind of a um, angled hatch there a little bit, and um, yeah, yeah, very very cool. Yeah. 
And final. Oh wait, second to last. Yeah, or second which one do we want to go over last? The Calliope. Well, yeah. So let's show off. So we'll have an action shot for the Calliope. Yeah, we don't right have now. a Calliope model with us. We do have the Calliope. Um. We just ran out of Sherman tanks. Go <laughs> figure. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they're all built right here. Well, um, in that Calliope, if you look at the action shot now, it's, it's really cool. You can kind of just get a feel for how uh, what it would be like to have all those missile missile tubes launching at the exact same time. Uh, it's a pretty impressive. It was not used heavily in combat. Um, it was kind of a, one of the later developments of sure. the of the M4 Sherman. Um, but it had, uh, had 36 rocket tubes, which is pretty dang impressive. And so you can kind of get a feel for, you know, this is what the add-on looks like, um, minus a little bit more that you would need to build into the, the actual frame of the it's tank. It's a bit of a rebuild. Rebuild, but. Um, but still, like, just a crazy looking weapon. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've seen, I've, I think we've either we've done it or we've seen pictures where people have combined uh, the Calliope and the... Um, Mind flail. <laughs> look at, kind of look at that. I mean, you ridiculous. can just get an idea of what that tank would look like, and that <laughs> thing—it looks like something out of a sci-fi film. Totally. So, yeah, that's that's a cool add-on. You know, whether or not it was used heavily in combat or not, it just looks sweet. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you let your imagination run wild with uh -huh. that one. Uh, and then finally, finally, yes, the mind flail. So yes. This is, I think, the most recent add-on. Is it for the M4 okay. Sherman that that Brickmania has come oh. out with? Um, Kind of hard to believe that this one was even really yeah. a thing. Like, how do we, how do we <laughs> get rid of these mines? Well, let's send a couple of tanks up front of the convoy with these big mine flails on them and have them just blow it up. I think we have a little animation as well of the mine flail going. If we want to pull that up on screen, do we have? Nice. Yeah, we have. Okay, yeah, let's throw that yeah. up there. So they they would run these with the turret facing backwards, uh, just so you don't get dirt and debris down the barrel, obviously. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm guessing you know the guy, so probably would not be sticking his head out. You'd want to hunker down. <laughs> But yeah, we can, well, here, I'll get, get it going here. It takes a little bit to get going, but yeah, yeah. we kind of get it. Well, it, it does It does have some good playability mm -hmm. to it because, it, you know, that's obviously the real mine flail did not have a, uh, you know, handle on the side to be hand cranked by some sort of giant being that could put a standard <laughs> on the tank. But, <laughs> but, you know, that's that's just kind of the playability. You still want to be able to, you know, have fun with that. And yes. so that was kind of the idea behind there. But then once again, kind of another cool add-on that you, you rebuild a little bit of the front of the tank on this one, but mm -hmm. otherwise it's clearly just it's just adding on to the tank so you don't have to modify the, the build itself that much, which is kind of fun because then you can have it on sometimes, remove it other times, uh, and you don't have to like completely reconstruct your tank every time you do that. So, cool. uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. I mean, Brickmania has you know been known for its N4 Sherman for a long time, all the way through these yeah. ver ver uh, different variants. Um, so this one once again is the 2018 model, yeah. and then the different styles of building. So this is there. this is the Cody uh, Cody Ocell's original model. Correct. Um, and I'm really I really like the uh, the sloping on the back. I thought that was a Really cool how he, how he, the connections on the inside and just mm -hmm. it gets that look really nice and uh, he did a good job on this one. So it was a cool redesign of of uh, Dan's existing one and I mean a substantial overhaul of the designs. Mm -hmm. so there's some similar elements, but it was a it was a pretty substantial overhaul. So. Yeah, I mean, and there's a reason it's been a staple of of the Brickmania kits mm -hmm. for so long, and that's because it is it is the most accurate M4 Sherman that can you know be mass produced at this point. Mm -hmm. and that's uh, yeah. that's a pretty cool accomplishment. So hats off to Cody. We all know what a good builder he is. Oh, yeah. so. But uh, but yeah, but so that is the that is the various M4 versions right it's there. It's quite the lineup here. Yeah, cool. it is quite the lineup. So um, the M4 Sherman right now is available on BrickMania.com. So make sure you go pick that up. Otherwise, let us know what you want to see next time on the archive, the kit archive. So we'll make sure to pull some more from our shelves and kind of go over the uh, different versions of that. Otherwise, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, go pick up your M4 Sherman. <laughs>